Welcome to, I guess, the latest episode of uh, my market updates. Uh, we are sitting under level four lockdown, uh, six days into it, and I'm getting a lot of question of what I think that is going to be happening to the market. So I thought I'll put it in a quick video, give you my thoughts anyway, and look, who knows, really, who knows? But if you go back to the first lockdown, there was a lot of people getting scared of what's going to happen to the markets. Would the market drop 10%, 20%, 30%, just like some articles at the time said. The reality was the opposite. As, as, we very, as we very well know, the market has gone up probably between 25 to 35%, depending where you are, from the first level four lockdown. So after the first level four lockdown, there was a level three, there was a couple of level twos, and now we are back at level four. Every single lockdown, at the end of every single lockdown, regardless if it was two, three, or four, the markets jumped back up and there was a lot of activity happening straight away as soon as the restriction, uh, restrictions were lifted. This time might be different. And I'm an optimist. If you know me, you know that I always see um, things in a, in a positive way versus uh, gloom and doom sort of thing. But the reason why I say this time might be different is because we are at the top of the markets. Uh, we don't know if it's hit the peak or not. We only know that the peak has been hit one the, once the markets start coming down. Um, the last month, the market has been extremely, extremely hot, probably even hotter than uh, what it was in January, February, uh, before the Jacinda announcements that happened on March 23rd, where there was a few weeks that the market sort of slowed down. There was a little bit of uncertainty. Um, but with this lockdown, um, happening now that we are pretty much getting towards the peak of the market, this could be um, well, this could be the reason why the market will hit the peak sooner than maybe could have or would have. Now, again, I'm an optimist. I'm uh, tracking the level of inquiries that we've been getting, so as my team, and I'm seeing very few little inquiries coming through than, for example, um, the first level four lockdown last year, where I still sold a few properties, we're lining up sort of a conditional offer subject to seeing the property, where the last six days, <clears throat> the level of inquiries has really been uh, dropped considerably. I would say that if I get a couple of inquiries every day, um, it's, uh, it's, it's there within the average sort of, of of the last week or six days. And uh, keeping in mind that I've always got a lot of listings, um, that's a little bit worrying. Um, <clears throat> maybe things will pick up as the level four carries on because unfortunately we're probably going to get another extension. Um, but uh, in my opinion, what, what's going to happen? I'm, I'm not too sure, 100% I'm not too sure. But I think that this could be the reason why the market hits the peak sooner than expected. Um, we shall see though, we shall see. And um, the level of uh, appraisals coming in and digital appraisal has still been really strong. So it shows that the vendors are still keen to get premium price. Of course, the question is, will the buyer still be there in a couple of weeks time once we get it out of level four? Time will tell. Thanks for watching. And I'll give you another update. Um, who knows, once we get out of level four. Bye.